In 2007, live action films of California conducted an undercover investigation of Planned Parenthood offices in several states. Under the direction of the organization's president, Lila Rose, the goal of the project was to determine whether Planned Parenthood officials would accept financial donations on the condition that the money would only be used to eliminate African Americans. The following clips are from the actual recordings of those conversations. When I underwrite abortion, does that apply to minorities too? If you specifically want it to underwrite an abortion for a minority person, you can target it that way. You can you can specify that that's how you want it spent. Okay, yeah, because there's so I de there's definitely way too many black people in Ohio, so I'm just trying to do my part. Okay, whatever. Well, blacks especially need abortions too, so that's what I'm trying to do. Well, for whatever reason, we'll accept the money. So. So the abortion could could be, you know, I could give money specifically for a, a black baby. That would that be the purpose. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you wanted to designate that you wanted your gift to be used to help an African-American woman in need, mm -hmm. um, then we would certainly uh, make sure that that gift was earmarked specifically for that purpose. Great, because, because I really face trouble with affirmative action, and I don't want my kids being disadvantaged, you know, against... Um, black kids. I just had a baby. I want to put it in his name, you know. Mm -hmm. um, you know so that's that's definitely yeah. possible. Oh, always, always. So, c c would it be possible for me to, to donate that money specifically for these these minority groups so that they could have access to abortions? Yes, it would be. Wonderful. And could I specify that abortion be done, or uh, those abortions be done for a particular minority group, or how does that work? If you wish, you can. Okay. So, so, for example, the black community in Tulsa, because I have connections with that, would it be possible to, to give the money specifically for that? You sure can. Wonderful. Great. Uh, so, can I give you my credit card number? Yes. Wonderful. Uh, j just one more thing. The, the, abortion, the, the abortions will be done specifically for, for uh, uh, black community abortions. I, can, I will mark it in such a way that definitely it will. Oh, okay. great. On a black baby. Yes. Thank you. Great. The exact amount we charge right now is $450 for an abortion. Okay, $450. Mm -hmm. And um, we can definitely designate it for an African American. Wonderful. Um, yeah. Um, okay, and if I want to make, um, to fund, because, you know, this is, this is a, um, if I wanted to help fund multiple um, abortions, could you also specify that this could be done for um, a specific group? Mm -hmm. um, okay. Well, I'm really excited, you know, because I really faced trouble with affirmative action. I don't want my kids to be um, uh, disadvantaged, um, you know, yeah. against against um, against blacks with, in college. And, and uh, the less, um, less blacks out there, the better, so. Yeah, yeah, it's a strange time for sure. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Uh, well, thank you very much, Jeremy. And if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. My extension is 304. When this material was released to the public, Planned Parenthood's defense was to claim that the employees who made these statements were not reflecting the organization's corporate position. But in 1986, Planned Parenthood's national president, Faye Waddleton, made the following statement during an interview on CNN. As a matter of fact, Mr. Dorn, and if I may finish, we have received contributions from people who want us, who want to support us because they want all welfare mothers and all black women to stop having children.